Uh, first of all, thank you for being here and thank you for partnering with the government and the ministry, our corporate uh, partners as well. And uh, today we will see the handover of parametric microinsurance certificate as part of a joint project with the UN World Food Program and the UN Capital Development Fund. And this was announced last year as part of the Pacific Insurance and Climate Adaptation Program, PICAP. Now this program is jointly administered by the UN Capital Development Fund and the UN uh, University Institute of Environment and Human Security and the UN Development Program. And what this basically aims is to equip governments and communities in the Pacific uh, small island developing states uh, to help them address the growing impact of climate change. We need not talk about the impact of climate change here. We know we, we experience that first hand. When a cyclone affects it, cyclone, flood, drug, whatever, our vulnerable people are mostly affected. This is an added burden on them. Imagine a house being washed, or sorry, swept away by a Category 5 cyclist. Most of us remember T.C. Wilson. I'm sure you do. Uh, you may not have experienced the strength of T.C. Wilson. You may have read about it. You may have heard about it. T.C. Wilson created havoc in our country. 2000, sorry, 2016. And at that time, the ministry was taking the lead role in providing the vulnerable with the much, much support they needed. So, this is all about it. For the welfare recipients who are here today, I thank you for being here. I thank you for agreeing to be part of the trial project. And I'm sure it's going to be beneficial as we expand of this program in future. So, first of all, I'd like to thank the governments of New Zealand and Australia for providing funding support towards this important program. Ladies and gentlemen, we know Fiji and the Pacific are highly exposed to disaster and climate risk. And as mentioned, we ranked 14 on the world risk and 10 on the climate risk index, respectively. What it basically means is that most of our people are affected when we are hit by a cyclone. Initially, it used to be category 2, category 3. But recently, we know we are prone to more disasters. The severity of cyclones is gaining control. The strength of the cyclones is gaining control. And category 5, the TC Winston, has showed us what it can do for a vulnerable economy like Fiji. We lost our one third of the GDP. 22,000 23,000 homes were lost, schools were damaged. But what did we do? We came up, the government came up with other ways of supporting. We had cash top ups for our welfare recipients. We rebuilt schools to get five standards. Um, and of course, uh, we are still rebuilding. You would say that COVID, we are not only rebuilding from COVID, we still have projects that have not been completed after TC. And then came JOC, KNE, Gita, and Yasa. So you can see the impact the cycles are going to have on us, not only now, but as, as we go along. So what happened? The cycle not only destroys a home, it destroys the whole livelihood. So when you normally we know we have been hit in the night by the cycle. So come the next morning, we all know what to see. Tins scattered here and there, house totally blown off the ground. People have lost clothes, food, everything. Children can't go to school. So we hope that this uh, parametric insurance that we have uh, engaged in with our partners is going to provide relief. So when the cyclone hits, in the next three or four days, we expect you to be assisted. Because the, sometimes the transportation routes are cut off. There's no communication channel. And our role is to provide quick and fast recovery recovery for you. And I'm sure those um, recipients who have been tried and these are the ones that live in the path of the cyclone, they will definitely benefit from it. So it, it, it's all to do with emotions as well, right? We are industry people are very emotional about this. We have NGOs, NPOs, CSOs, everybody. The next day they're on the road to help. And some people are far too rich because the bridges get blow, uh, washed away. The uh, debris blocks the roads up. And uh, we at the ministry believe that we are related to serve you, and that's why we partnered with our agencies to feel that you are provided with this cash assistance right? in the shortest possible time. So I would say you are a lucky group of our welfare recipients. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is not the only uh, insurance that covers our social welfare recipients. Last week, you may have heard. Uh, uh, two weeks ago in Parliament, we talked about another.
that cover for all the 87,000 plus women. They are, they are also covered under our insurance scheme. The government pays the premium, you become the beneficiaries. Uh, this way, isn't it? So in terms of fire, you are covered by fire, personal injury, funeral expenses, and life. So we have other problems. 20.1 million dollars has been paid so far in terms of insurance premium. Even here, the premium is paid by you don't have to pay a single cent to be insured under this scheme. Isn't it great? Okay. So I would suggest our welfare recipients, let's put our hands together and thank our partners. Because without them, you will not be relevant. Right? Thank you very much. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we have 10 social welfare beneficiaries. And these beneficiaries are living in uh, the high climate risk location in Fiji. And today, they will be presented with the paramedic micro-insurance certificate. So, I will end my speech here. We thank and congratulate the World Food Program Pacific and UN Capital Development Fund for making this happen. You have collaboratively embarked on a new beginning of hope and compassion. And on behalf of the Fijian government and our people, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'd also like to thank Digital and Vodafone for providing forms each to the 10 insurance certificate recipients. And of course, Fiji Care and Sun Insurance is underwriting with the project. Product. Uh, as mentioned uh, by Emma, we hope to take this to another level. We, we hope to expand this service to other social welfare recipients. This is a trial product, and I look forward to for working with both of the organizations in the future. And yes, I like to ask questions because when it has something to do with my people, I need to know that they're getting the best of everything. So thank you once again, and God bless you, and enjoy the rest of the program. Thank you.